Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, circle, along with this uh, AC as the perpendicular. And moreover, this tiny segment uh, BC is uh, two units. And this uh, segment uh, AC is equal to this segment uh, OC. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label the side lengths uh, of this uh, segment AC and uh, OC. Let's label uh, this AC length uh, as uh, lowercase a and uh, OC and AC are equal. So this OC length is going to be lowercase a as well. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, vertex uh, A. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ACO. And now we can see that this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. I'm going to label this one as a lowercase uh, r. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, radius r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus a square equal to r square. Let's combine the like terms. So we can write uh, r square equal to 2 times uh, a square. Let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both sides of this equation. So therefore we can see that our radius uh, r is going to be equal to a times a square root of two units. Let me call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this uh, circle. We are going to label it as lowercase uh, r. And moreover, uh, this radius is going to be the sum of uh, this uh, two and this uh, lowercase a. So therefore, we can write this thing as uh, radius lowercase r equals to a plus uh, two. Let me label this one as equation uh, number two. And here we can see we are ended up with these equations one and two. And now we are going to compare these uh, two equations since the left hand sides are identical. So we are going to equate uh, the right hand uh, sides as well. So therefore we can write uh, a plus uh, two equals to a times the square root of uh, two. Let's go ahead and move this uh, a on the other side. So therefore we can write this one as uh, a times square root of two minus uh, a equals to two. And here we can see a is in common. So therefore I can write uh, a as a factor out. So square root of two minus uh, one equal to two. And now we are going to divide both sides by square root of two minus one to isolate a. This cancels out with this one. So therefore lowercase a turns out to be equal to two divided by square root of two minus uh, one. And now we are going to rationalize this uh, denominator by multiplying uh, by its conjugate. Uh, so we are going to multiply by square root of uh, 2 plus 1. And at the same time, I'm going to divide by square root of 2 plus 1 as well. And now we are going to multiply the numerators. And likewise, we are going to multiply the denominators as well, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity, a minus b times uh, a plus b could be written as a square minus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, denominator. So therefore this uh, denominator then could be written as uh, square root of two whole square minus uh, one uh, square. And that is going to give us uh, two minus one, which is going to be equal to one. 
So therefore, uh, if we multiply the denominators, uh, it turns out to be equal to 1, as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore, our lowercase a value turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 plus uh, 1. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. And here I have copied down equation 1 over here, r equals to a times square root of 2. And here our a value is 2 times square root of 2 plus 1. So I am going to substitute that one over here. So therefore I can write lowercase r is going to be equal to this. When we multiply them we can write this thing 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 plus 1. And now we are going to square both sides. So r square is going to be equal to the square of this uh, right hand side uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. Uh, 2 times square root of 2 whole square is going to be equal to 8. So therefore I can write uh, r square equals to 8 uh, times the uh, square root of 2 plus uh, 1 whole square. And now let's focus on this part, square root of 2 plus 1 whole square. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity, a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial. So therefore we can write this thing as square root of 2 whole square plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 and then uh, times 1 plus 1 square. And if we simplify everything, it turns out to be 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by this one. So therefore, our r square value turns out to be 8 times 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded uh, region area is going to be equal to the sector AOB area, this uh, whole uh, sector area, minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ACO. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this sector AOB and the area of this uh, triangle uh, ACO as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACO. We can see this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length equal to this side length. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle is going to be 45 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees since this angle is 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, whole uh, sector AOB. And now let's recall the area of a sector formula. Area equals to angle theta divided by 360 degrees uh, times pi r square. And in our case our angle theta is 45 degrees and our r square value is right here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So our angle uh, is 45 degrees uh, divided by 300 uh, and 60 degrees uh, times uh, pi and then times uh, our r square value is 8 uh, times 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And here in this uh, next step uh, 45 degrees divided by 360 degrees uh, could be reduced to 1 divided by 8. And here we can see 8 and 8 cancels out. So therefore uh, this sector AOB area turns out to be pi times 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate the area of this right triangle uh, ACO. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times the base uh, times height. And here our base and height uh, are uh, lowercase a. And our lowercase a value is 2 times square root of 2 plus 1. So therefore I can write uh, 1 divided by 2, our base uh, and height both of them are a. So that is going to give us uh, a square divided by 2. 
and now let's make an observation we know our a value is uh, this one and if we take the square of this one that is going to give us a square equals to 4 times 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, a square uh, by this uh, value as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this a square by this uh, value and if we reduce this one that is going to give us uh, 2 times 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 so therefore our triangle ACO area turns out to be 2 times 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region and we already figured out this uh, sector AOB area over here and this uh, triangle ACO area over here as well let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation our sector AOB area is pi times uh, 3 plus 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 minus this triangle uh, ACO area is 2 times uh, 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and here we can see they are in uh, common so therefore I can write this one as uh, 3 plus 2 times uh, square root of 2 I'm going to factor that one out uh, times uh, pi minus uh, 2 so thus the area of this uh, green shared region turns out to be 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 times uh, pi minus 2 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 6 point uh, six uh, five uh, four uh, square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye